spirit of God. And if nobody wants to tell something old bell in those land, they rings, but nobody can see where it is, get them out. Because you're hindering the upgrades come to your own life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Esther was prepared to take the people before the king for deliverance. God is looking for some people who are willing to lay down their all for the gospel. He's looking for some people who don't mind giving up what God requires them to give up. And so Esther was ready to get into position. Amen. She didn't see herself of any worth. I'm going to tell you that greatness takes time. Hallelujah. That every time you see a delay in your life, mean that God is not in it. You're just going through a refining process. You know, for promotion, for elevation. Hallelujah. Greatness is not instantaneous. It takes endurance. It takes perseverance. Hallelujah. It takes persistency. Then success will come step by step. It took endurance for Esther to wait for one year. People needed in your body all these odors. But I'm sure she was saying, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind But when you get to the spa, you feel the pain and the pressure of your hands kneading you and, and the clay, honey, and the heat of, from that spa. Amen. And she still kept saying, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. And so when things get ugly, because the goldsmith sits over the refining process of the gold, amen? And the dross comes off. Only somebody who been through the fire can deal with your ugly. You got some pastors who never been through nothing. They keep you out when your ugly show up. But Bishop Hay would say, it's okay. I'll deal with this. Because the usher get irritated. The pastors come to say, I don't know what to do with this one. I can't handle this. But Bishop Hay says, okay. I'll take care of this. Because it's been somewhere where you have never been before. The king has been somewhere where you need to get to. And so he says, Lord, I'll be patient with this one. Because he sees beyond that Noah's ring and Esther. And if she understands like Mordecai talk to Esther, you understand that Bishop Hay and his wife is your Mordecai. And so when they comment to you, it's because they see purpose about to shift in your life. They see something greater that if you're willing to give up what you so desire and love, you will come into what God has for you. Hallelujah. Your upgrade means you have to separate yourself. Come on, somebody. Your upgrade means, hallelujah, that you have to be willing, hallelujah, to give up your time, your service, and your money gonna cost you some friends. Hallelujah. For increase to come forth. Hallelujah. You have to be willing to go to another level. God is raising you up today. He's taking you into a new place of brokenness and humility. Hallelujah. You can live beyond the holy of holies. He's taking you to a place where your name, hallelujah, though it's not known now, hallelujah. Your name will be spread. People are going to be recommending you and say, hey, I am not a lady called a pastor lady. It would be good to have her at your church. Hey, you know what they call They smell the oil of the master. They connect with not what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. Hallelujah. The king chose Esther because her inward beauty animated through her pores and through her skin. Hello, somebody. I saw the Thank <laughs> you. 
message. Hallelujah. Who that is willing to deny themselves, take up the cross and follow me. What is the essence of this message? I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. And verse 2 says, be not conformed to this world, but be He's using your boss. You don't like what he 